Welcome everyone, it's Gamefo. Today I have one hour of Mortal Shell gameplay, a new Souls-like game coming in late 2020 for PS4, Xbox One and PC. I already played the game for a few hours, so I'm gonna be covering with live commentary what the shells are, the combat mechanics, the leveling system, the boss fight in my review. Thanks to the Mortal Shell team and their publisher Playstack London for sending me the closed beta access which was released today. There are no spoilers on this video, so let's get it. So yeah, this game was developed by, by 15 developers, which is amazing and they're really really hyped about this. I'm really hyped as well. This is a shell. So as you can see, this sort of hollow form like embraces this this shell and the shells are the playable characters in the game. So once you embrace a shell, um, you can start playing and each of the shells have different skills that you can unlock. So we're gonna cover that in a second. Now we're gonna head right into the gameplay. This is just the explanation of the party. I will show you this. We're not reading this. And what it's saying right now is that you need resolve in order to parry or to use the special weapon ability. As you can see, uh, before we start jumping into these fellows, and um, we have the health bar, the stamina bar, and we have the resolve bar, which is the orange one. Um, yeah, so the resolve, the orange one, is the one that lets you use the special attacks. And as you can see, there's a little trap right there. That's a little trap. I'm gonna kill this guy. Now, one thing that you can notice is that there's a lot of poise in this game. So poise is your best friend, but it's also your worst friend in this game. Like you cannot get like so greedy sometimes because you will get like immediately knocked by too many enemies. So this is a trap. I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. There's a few traps here, so I'm pretty sure the developers are going to, you know, be adding some of those traps in the game. Now I'm gonna kill these two fellas here and I'm gonna um, kill one um, one of the big boys there with the special attack so you can see how the parry looks and the special attack. The special attack that eats like half of your resolve bars, as you can see I have four resolve bars, eats two of them. But it's an attack that pretty much is like six or seven times more OP than a regular, it's this one. And as you can see no matters when I do it like the the actual character will do like whatever animation sometimes it varies like the animation like he will like immediately automatically dodge or something and do this special attack and pretty much deal a lot of damage so each time that you use that um, a special ability or weapon art on your um, on your attack you don't have worry but uh, you don't need to worry about dodging but you you cannot spam like that too much because you actually have to start killing a lot of enemies before you can end, uh, earn resolve and as you can see I can only use it once again so you will see while we start killing the enemies that it's not like I can spam that like I really need to farm a lot of resolve to get the hang of it now let me show you the trap here uh, real quick come on boy come on oh well he didn't oh there you go he got trapped now Okay, now I got it. I'm gonna get out of here. Well, there you go. Now, this item right here is like the healing item that you use. Oh, I'm not sure if they're gonna include like a full chug heal. Or it's gonna be like this where your health uh, uh, regenerates uh, 40 every over 60 seconds. I'm um, not sure about this, but as you can see there's... yet yeah, because this is the beta. As you can see, there's a timer on that um, on that healing item. So that means that after like 15 minutes or so, this you I you I can go back here and get another one. It's not like I can just spam it. Now let's go ahead and kill the enemies of this area, and I'm going to show you why the harden is so so important. So see that guy that tried to attack me. Now I use the harden to get out of the situation where I'm being ganked. As you can see this enemy is like this is one of the weakest enemies in the area and I got completely stuck by his attack. That means that if if you just start spamming or if you're too aggressive with more, with multiple enemies they're just gonna like two or three shot you because of the freaking poise. This game has a lot of poise so if you were complaining about poison Dark Souls well you got this game now. 
I'm not gonna cover like each of the items that I get right now. We're gonna get uh, into that later. Uh, I'm gonna quickly cover the other area. And now we're gonna level up and talk about um, that or other area that is behind the um, big door is the leveling area. So I'm just gonna quickly kill some of the enemies here, get a few items that I need. Uh, we're gonna talk about that in a, in a few times. In a moment, sorry. Is there a plunge attack? Yes, there's a plunge attack. Now, let me okay, get some. Oh no, these are the big boys. We're not bothering with them. So as you can see, I have killed like many enemies right now, and I only have one resolve um, bar, and I need actually two of them to to use my special ability. Now, I'm actually gonna lose my HP here uh, on purpose so I can show you something, but, but first let me get these items. Well, okay, so this is the form. This is like the hollow form per se. And what you get on this form, I'm getting here in cover because of something. If I get, if I get hit once, I'm dead. Now, the good thing about this uh, form is that if I start dodging or whatever, like, it feels like more, um, this, this, this character, like, without armor or whatever, like, feels way smoother. And I, I think it deals a little bit more damage. And also, like, the stamina bars, you can see it's almost impossible to, to fill it completely. But if, if I get hit once, I'm dead. So, and I have to start all over again. Uh, so... I'm probably dead right now. Well, that was close. I actually kind of want to die so you can see what happens when I die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, something that I noticed is that those traps don't actually t uh, kill you when you're in this form. I don't know if this is supposed to be like this or they're gonna change it in the full game. I'm actually going to... Well, going to get back here. So, I just got back to, um, on my shell. And I'm full HP. Now, you might be asking, um, can you do this all the time? No, you can only do it once. On this beta, it seems like you can do it once. So if I die after, like, um, if I die again, I won't be able to do it again. So I'm gonna kill these guys. I'm not gonna die. I'm just gonna explain what happens if, if I die or if I die later, you will see. Now, if I get into that uh, hardened... Um, into that hardened form, even even the boss or any OP enemy wouldn't be able to to deal any damage. Now let's just talk about the different type of of um, of combat mechanics that I've seen. If you are familiar with the Dark Souls games, so we have a light attack. Uh, we have a heavy attack. That's like the partial heavy attack. And as you can see, if you press it twice, like, he does different things. Uh, if I hold it, like, then you can release in the middle, or you can just hold it a little bit more. Um, we have a sort of a back step, and as you can see, like, I turn into this um, sort of a hardened mode. This is probably one of the abilities of this character, because this is like a strength build or something. Um, and we have the jump attack. Unfortunately, we don't have a a, um, a running R1. This is something that I'll be talking about at the end of the video, some recommendations that I have. Um, and yeah, so this area is covered. Now we're gonna... Um, we're gonna kill one of those enemies by using the special attack and, and the other one we're gonna just kill him, uh, kill him normally. So as you can see, that attack is really OP. Now, the the dodges that in in the rolls on this game, you need to time them as soon as you see the enemy uh, raising their hand. So just to give a clear explanation, when you see like the enemy is a it's like this. Okay, one second, I messed up. So as you can see, I use harden there because otherwise I won't be able to dodge. So let's explain that again. Okay. When the enemy is like this, you actually have to dodge right there. 
if, if you dodge if you dodge while the enemy I was just far away there but but if if you dodge when the uh, the enemy swings like Dark Souls or Bloodborne you won't be able to skip the frame you actually have to do it way before so this is something that you need to get used to it see like I did it before this is something that it was really hard uh, for me at the very beginning but I, I'm, I kind of got used to it as you can see you can use the harden I noticed like when I did the jump attack that he was going to attack me so I used the harden now let me explain something else uh, the parry the parry is this is with L1 is this little thing and you use this parry and reposite Repost, I don't know. I'm, I'm not native speaker, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Anyways, as you can see, the, the orange bars are gone right now. I only have one, so I can do only one more parry and I'm not able to do the special attack anymore. So this is kind of um, the combat mechanics work. I'm really digging this combat mechanics. At the beginning, it was so hard, but then I, I, um, I got used to them. Um... Again, I'm not sure if the developers are going to maybe add a wider range of frames so you can dodge when when the actual uh, swing happens. Um, but I'm not sure if they would actually add that because the point of the Harden won't be um, that crucial. And I actually really like that it's a, it's a different mechanic, you know. And we're going to talk to the, yes, this NPC right now. This guy sells um, some goodies, and there's a thing that we need here to upgrade our weapon. Um, now we're, I'm gonna eat one of. Uh, okay, this this thing right here is just souls, pretty much, as you can see. Like I'm getting money to buy things. This one, is, this is a bigger one. I'm gonna talk about the other items later and the menus. Um, okay. My, oh my, aren't you a rare specimen? Rather dashing in that curious attire. And what of on the inside? You must be a gentleman. Certainly not one of those boorish fanatics. Welcome then, I'll warp some tea. In the meantime, why not take a this look is ultra at settings by the way on PC uh, this game is coming on PS4 and Xbox too I'll gladly accept Xbox any one tar as PS4 payment. okay so the only thing that I'm going to buy here is this one right here there's only one stock you can get one on this beta per per playthrough pretty much um, and there's supposed to be NG plus on this game, as far as I know, but it's not all, it's not coded on this beta yet, because um, I tried doing like multiple trades, uh, like reloading the area, and you just get way more OP, but it doesn't scale. But they're adding that to the full game. Um, it's my understanding. Now this is um, the the quenching acid. It's something that it will increase your. Uh, it will upgrade your weapon. So that's that's pretty much what it is. The rest of these items, I'm gonna go through them um, in like at the end of the video. And I don't really like using that many items. It's just I something that I like because I I try to learn the mechanics. And I believe like the items, if you if you rely on the items, you will run out of them. So you will have to farm them. And you know that's that's just me, right? So, um, this area is, is done, it's completed. Now we're gonna head to... This is a... It's a weird mask, dark mask that is in here. This thing, I tried to interact with it, but nothing happened, so I'm not pretty sure. Now this is the next area. And this is where we're gonna meet our waifu. And we're gonna get another shell, another playable character uh, that we can embrace. So just when I'm gonna quickly talk here, um, to you her. For another taste, foundling. Not so hasty. 
Not all places are as friendly as Fulgrim. There won't be any merriment around the bonfire here. Only the dead call this place home. All that remains are scavengers gnawing on bones. An intruder like yourself will not be welcome. So then, would you like another sip? So once you sip, you will get into the abilities of the characters. You unlock this. You need some tar. Tar is like the souls. And now you can unlock some of the skills. The brigands pointed us toward the temple. Shunned by the devout, their allegiances lie to those who offer tar or spirits. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. So, the developers got interviewed and they spoke about that the meaning of this game is finding purpose for each of the shells, each of the playable characters. So, once you start uh, progressing through the game, you will start getting these dialogues and interesting lore about the characters. And it seems to be pretty dark and I'm really into this. Um, now, we're going to talk about the leveling system here. Um, as you can see, some of them are locked, but some of them are not. So this one, uh, if, I, uh, if I were to choose this one, the hardening will last uh, for twice as long. Uh, upon being broken, this is actually pretty OP to be the boss because you we will get into that in a second. I'm probably gonna level up this one. This one is locked. It's locked. It's not in the demo. Um, this this is another ability, and this one um, it is that um, picking up a glimpse has a chance to restore some health. So this one is like kind of a regeneration. Um, and this one right here, it's uh, for a short period, uh, short time after hardening, the enemy skill will have a chance to drop additional glimpse. And the glimpse, if you're wondering, is that little uh, eye that you can see on the upper right corner. That's like the inside from Bloodborne and you need glimpse in order to, as you can see, like if I go through the abilities right here, this one, it says that actually I need eight. So I'm gonna cons uh, consume one of those uh, glimpses that um, that we recently got. As you can see, I have one here. So I'm gonna consume one of those. We have five. And now some enemies drop glimpse. So I'm gonna be killing more enemies uh, in the meanwhile in the dungeon. And then we're gonna head back here before we get into the boss fight. So again, I'm gonna talk about the rest of the items later. And let's, um, let's head into this area and it says use Anvil. So it seems like we will be our own, but I'm not sure if this is gonna be exactly the same on the final product of the game because this is the beta. But it seems like we are actually Andre. We can level up our own weapons. So there you go. We have increased the damage to one. Now we have a another um another item to heal up. And we have this uh, guy here, and it says inhabit unknown shell. So what happens if I inhabit? I mean, if if I embrace this shell, well, I start playing as the other new shell. There we go. We have another one. This guy seems to be a sort of a quality build type. As you can see, we have a lot of stamina. I actually really, really enjoy playing this guy before because um, it's hard to run out of stamina and sometimes you need a lot of stamina. And as you can see, the rolls you banish, so the frames are better. Uh, so this one, it's actually easier to dodge uh, while the enemies are um, like, like this, you know? This is what I was saying about the frames. With the other character, like if the if the character um it's in this is in this frame, you won't be able to dodge or roll. Like they will hit you anyway. 
So yeah, on this character it's actually easier to dodge and roll while the enemies are on this form of attack. Um, it gives you more ability to um, to roll and dodge because of this that you disappear. So um, I'm gonna kill these enemies on this uh, character and then I'm gonna go back to this one because I al already used the glimpse. As you can see I have zero glimpse on this one on the uh, lower right hand corner. Uh, so I won't be able to upgrade the abilities on this one. I will uh, upgrade the abilities on this one first. But the abilities that were um, that skill tree for this one, it's pretty much one that um, your stamina will not be affected as much. Another one that once you get attacked, you release a poison cloud. And I think that was about it. For this one, I want to test the Harden option that you actually get to be, as you can see, the, the bar of the Harden. You can stay in this form, but once you get attacked by the enemies, like, let's just let's go ahead and test it here. Okay, well, <laughs> that was my bad because I didn't have the, the full Harden. So, let's do it again. I might get caught here, though. As you can see, I can roll faster on this one. So, let's Harden again. Now, as you can see... These guys are kind of OP, so I can only take a few hits, but I have to wait. Like you see that circle that is on the on the left um, on the left lower corner. I have to wait for that. Um, he actually tried to do his special attack, which which is grabbing me. Uh, but but because I was hardened, then it didn't it, it didn't kill me. I'm go I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna kill these guys and then I'm gonna let the other enemy shoot. Well, I, okay, well, <laughs> that didn't go as planned, but that's okay. Well, that's that's a special attack, as you can see, like it drains half of my HP, which is insane. See, but I hardened there, so so he didn't kill me. Plus, so you can see this one, like it doesn't do as much damage as the other one somehow. I don't know if it's just because this is skill, like it seems to be like different. Um, these guys are creepy as you can see they throw knife, uh, knives at you and look what happens when they're about to die just look at this that's creepy AF and they release a poison cloud So, as you can see also the resolve on this character, like, you don't seem to get a lot of resolve. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna switch to this one, because I want to test the OP ability, the Harden ability, and I need to get some glimpse. So let's switch to a boy here. Well, that was a clear miss right there. Yeah, as you can see the game is hard like if you if you make one single mistake you might get stuck because of the poison then you're dead so you're up to the challenge this game is for you this game is not like dark souls or or bloodborne where you can just start spamming circle and get out of the situation this one you actually have to think about your moves and, um, and yeah and be careful you you can be also aggressive because the voice is on your side as well but um, but you have to be very caref careful and you know, know how to use harden So as you can see, as soon as I, I'm done with the stamina, like I, I get back. This is because I, I really need to fill that stamina bar, like otherwise I will die. Like in front of him, like so easily. And the enemies are so OP as you can see, because I have I'm I'm just using a weapon plus one right now and these guys are kind of OP. And it's just normal. I would say for any souls like game that at the beginning you're it's your kind of under level, you have to level up a bit, you know. 
so that's really good. The game is hard and it doesn't have to, uh, it doesn't, uh, thankfully, it doesn't have like a, an option to lower the difficulty. So, that's the way to go. This is an area uh, that you get this item here. And I haven't been able to find actually a use for that item. We'll get into the items again like at the end. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys like that you can actually get into these cool areas by doing that. Okay, now let me show you something. This, this is what I was saying. I can go back. And my little flame will be here. So I can heal again. just didn't have it selected on the menu so I'm just gonna put it here um, and yeah so after 15 minutes or so you can go back and get another one I'm not sure if this is gonna be leveling the, like how you're gonna heal on this game or if they're gonna actually include on the full game like um, an Estus that you can that he can help you up faster but th if this is the way I love it because this will make you not be greedy As you can see the enemies can fall as well. And you can fall too. But I'm not gonna fall. Okay, well I got poison, that's nice. Now these enemies are way more OP than the other ones at the beginning. But I'm gonna show you like an enemy that is actually like really hard to kill if you don't know the mechanics. And we have two enemies before the boss. These are the actually the actual enemies that kind of get you in the uh, get good vibes. This this enemies right here. So you actually need to learn the mechanic, the hardened mechanic, otherwise you're dead. So let's get into the enemy. Take a few hits, then harden. Get out. Just wait uh, a few seconds so we get our hardened back. As you can see, it's on the le it's the the bar that is on the eye. Okay, let's get out again. This is the whole point mechanic of this game. Harden again. Get out. I got greedy there. I'm dead. See, this is this is really nice that actually happened to me. Now. I actually have to get out of here because if this guy like what like only one hit I'm dead. Okay, I might be dead right now. Okay, he was one shot. I got lucky. So I got really lucky right there. So as you can see I made a single mistake and it was that I didn't harden and I got a little bit greedy and the game punished me so hard that you know you're just pretty much dead. So you have two options here. Again, you can either play it like this and get if you get in one hit uh, you're done um, or you can go back to your shell and have one more chance and keep playing that's pretty much um, on the other form um, like the hollow form you can actually fill your resolve the orange bar faster to use the, the abilities okay now I'm about to show you um, the boss uh, I'm not gonna kill the guy. I'm just gonna get some items here real quick because we're gonna talk about the items later And We're gonna head into the boss in a second, but first we're gonna get one of the uh, OP skills So yeah, as you can see also you can just start running on the areas and avoid the enemies just like you would do in Dark Souls, so you can, if you want to run into the boss, um, to the boss fight. So I'm gonna use the glimpse. See, as you can see, I have a glimpse there. It's one. I think I need 
eight for the for the opi ability. Um, let's go ahead and check that. And if not, then I'm just gonna play it without the glimpse. Sip this. I mean, without the ability. Well, we can actually level up this when the hardened cooldown is reduced. So the cooldown it means that you can harden more often, so you don't you you can be more aggressive. I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna uh, get that one. Well, the yeah, I'm gonna get this one, the cooldown one. Nice. They were a pathetic lot. Squandering their time to drink moonshine and fight over scraps. An offering of a bag of tar garnered me their quick attention. But I sensed betrayal in their eyes. I knocked one down, and the other told me all he knew. As I turned to walk away, one struck my armor with a rock. Were they mad? I could just as soon cut them down as take a piss. I looked into their hungry eyes and warned them as much. So as, as you can see, every time like you start getting new abilities, you will unlock some lore. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, as you can see, we have actually two more bar to fills. I'm actually going to need this for the boss because that boss is pretty OP, otherwise the, fi the fight is going to take forever. Um, I'm going to get killed by the enemies so you guys can see what happens uh, when you get killed. And then we're going to head into the boss fight. So let's get killed by the enemies real quick. As you can see they can kill you so easily, like you get staggered you can even move. Now that's our chance, we are not going back into the form. We're gonna get a one shot and that's it, I'm done. Now once you get killed... You get back to waifu. I've kept your flesh safe. And well, she's just saying that she kind of kept the flesh, uh, flesh safe. So that thing right there is our souls, and we gotta retrieve that real quick. But as you can see, I lost the. Uh, well, that's actually bad. We lost the uh, the ability to use the special ability against the boss, but that's okay. I'm gonna use some items now. Explain you the items. And we're gonna get at least one shot to use one special ability, ability against the boss. So it seems to be that you actually lost the the, the the reverence if you if you die. But see, no biggie. This one actually feels the reverence uh, easy. So I'm gonna kill some enemies to get the ability back. Let's kill a few enemies again. This is the best the, the best way I've, I've found to kill the enemies to reset the fight. See, this guy actually feels the... Um, Alright. I'll explain the items at the end. I'm gonna head into the boss fight right now. Oh, but I need to change the option to heal. I'm gonna try to do this without healing. Oh, I have the heals there. Let me heal. There you go. I was healing and I was using the Harden. This is why the Harden is so useful. Okay, let's get it. So as you can see, like I have to use the Harden after my attacks if I get caught. Because otherwise, like, I will be stuck and this guy will, like, insta shot me. And I, as you can see, I'm not dealing a lot of damage. And this is mainly because 
Um, this game is is something. It's hard. And if you don't use your special abilities, like you you will hit like a web noodle pretty much unless you have your weapon like leveled up or something. So I'm gonna kind of start um, dealing some damage. This that that attack right there. If that guy were if the boss was about to um, you know to eat me with that attack, I would be dead. So as you can see, the harden is something that you actually need, like really need. Alright, I'm gonna use the ability at the very end to get, um, yeah, I'm gonna use the ability at the very end. So as you can see, I'm, I'm, okay, I got, I got hit in there. Holy shit. And I, uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, cool effects on the game. Um... Like, you, you have like this sort of, uh, well, one of the enemies got in the arena. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be done. Probably, yes. This didn't happen before, but I'm gonna kill the enemies either way, so let's get it. Oh, I got it stuck. This is bad. I'm dead now. I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be, but we'll try it. We'll try it anyway. I think this is just a punishment of, of just running through the areas, probably. So as you can see, I'm getting out of the situation because I'm using Harden. Like otherwise, if I, if I was just about to roll, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So the boss HP is about to get to third HP. That was a mistake. And then I'm gonna use the ability to finish the boss at the end. See, okay, this is some this is a mistake that I made. This is a mistake that I made and, and I wanna talk about it. So I try to dodge and get out of the situation without getting without using the harden and still the the frames of the boss killed me. The reason why? Because I dodge while the, the, the boss was swinging in the middle and not about to swing like this and this is something that you have to get used to it. if if this is how it's gonna be in the final game people are gonna have to get used to it and the games becomes hard like I'm actually getting used to it I'm really enjoying it this is something that um, that needs to be kind of discussed uh, before the final product okay well this guy is done. Ooh! that was bait bro Okay, so I'm gonna use the special ability right now so you can see the amount of damage that I make compared to the regular swings, right? See that damage is insane. And I get just to finish the boss. So it's really, really, really amazing. That's what I can say about this game. Now we're going to talk about the review right now. This game is insane for a company of 15 people developing the game. I wish nothing for the best for the people working um, behind this game. This is where the beta ends. Um, I wish nothing for the best for the people behind this. this. The guys really care about the feedback in the community. It's not like the other games where we are not allowed to say anything like they just release the patches however they want like th these guys actually care and this is this game is made by souls fans say we gotta support these guys like i would love to see another company making souls games souls like games um and being honest so far out of the all of the souls like that i that i have played um including remnant from ashes this game is the most fun that i've had so far um so yeah this is my review about the game it looks pretty pretty amazing on pc at ultra settings this is ultra settings this is amazing it looks incredible i'm pretty sure it's gonna look really nice on ps4 pro as well and xbox one 
um, and yeah so this is my review of the beta and net, yeah we're gonna get into the items right now um, this guy right here as you can see you actually actually have to use it once so it reveals the, the the information about the item and same for the others but I I kind of remember what the items are about but I'm, we're, we're gonna use them anyway so this one once you use it like it it says that you will the next attack that you do after you get hardened it will be stronger so that's what the item does now the second one I'm actually put the items on top um, well we can't put all of them on top so I'm just gonna let's see the ones that are not on top this one this one uh, restores on a small uh, amount of health at the cost of resolve so you um, lose resolve you know the the, the 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 bar that you use for your special abilities this one right here um, cannot be used on this shell on the other shell and yep so I will have to go back for this one we can leave this one here it's no biggie it's just you know consumables now this one right here as you can see like it gets into this incredible sort of crazy uh, animation I love this and you deal poison damage but you uh, actually are like poison or something and yep now we're gonna head into this other item this one um, will increase your resolve but it will cost you health so I'm about to die right now actually by using the items <laughs> um, and this one right here um, the next parry like, gives you back resolve okay this one right here you get at the, um, the, the tutorial this one the next time I'm taken while well, hardness is converted to health it's really nice this one right here I leave it till the end um, I have it on top actually you start like playing So well, that's the review guys, um, and this is the close beta. As you can see uh, here, you can open this chest, and then you get some some other items. I'm gonna show the items real quick. Oh, and this is the, the shells, the four shells. These are not this one you add until the uh, full game comes out. This is just the items that you get, the lore, the tutorials. And yeah, these two items, um, the bell, I forgot right now, but it's just consumables, guys. So I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want me to start doing more commentary on my videos, feel free to um, let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this game. I would love to listen to your thoughts and... Um, also feel free to join the discord channels of these guys uh, mortal shell so you can have some feedback about the game um, and what else guys well um, do want to point out that in the recent year I've been getting a lot of uh, new subscribers and a lot of watch time on my channel so I do want to thank you guys for that it really means a lot of people are watching my content I never thought that this channel would reach like <laughs> more than 100 subscribers and we're actually heading into like around 15k right now um, I do plan to start doing Mortal Shell content, uh, Ghost, Ghost of Tush uh, Tsushima and Elden Ring and the stuff that I'm more into is Souls-like games so if you're really into this type of games uh, the Demon Souls remake is also coming out uh, st uh, stay tuned in the channel and uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification zone so YouTube don't uh, hide my videos from you <laughs> love the algorithm and well that will be it guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one
Sift this, and you'll see. They foretold the truth more terrifying than any other. Those who glimpse it behold no monster other than an utter lack of meaning. The visage of a razor-thin line between existence and non-existence, and nothing in between. The Oblate dipped a hand into the embers, and the flames leapt at his touch. Drawing back his blackened fingers, he drew a sigil of ash beneath my eyes. The soot burned against my cheeks, growing hotter with each word of purification. As smoke choked my vision, and tears welled in my eyes, the world itself burned white hot. But beneath it all, there was nothing. No monsters, no gods, only oblivion. The consecrated fires revealed cinders and shadows, yet I strained to see more. Surely these sages offered more than the assurances of annihilation. They mixed droplets of tar with muddy spirits, and made no promises of salvation. We drank heartily, stumbling from one camp to the next. We rutted like joyous animals in the filth. With the tar throbbing in my belly, I see her completely. 
Each movement creates a swarm of copies. They ripple out from her, following their own whims. Some collide and join together, while others split apart, forming new copies. A reflection of reflections spreading out from her. The Nexus, yet also indistinguishable. Sip this. They were a pathetic lot, squandering their time to drink moonshine and fight over scraps. An offering of a bag of tar garnered me their quick attention. But I sensed betrayal in their eyes. I knocked one down, and the other told me all he knew. As I turned to walk away, one struck my armor with a rock. Were they mad? I could just as soon cut them down as take a piss. I looked into their hungry eyes and warned them as much. First, I heard the squeals, as if from a hundred mouths. Then I saw her. The revered. A writhing mass of Sanu. As if all at once she was splitting apart and coalescing. Is it salvation to look upon her? Deliverance? I knelt, losing my strength. I wanted to look away, and yet... She was all I wanted to see. The madman I would come to realize was not burdened with delusions, but truth. Yet the wary ear corrupts honest words into lies. I took him for a spy and cut him down. How else could he know so much about me? He had condemned himself with each utterance. Silent, the newborn crawled from the Earth's viscera, a gaunt, sallow-skinned creature, not entirely inhuman. Its hands grasped uselessly at her deflated form. Her limbs writhed and coiled around it. Perhaps an embrace. 